So, I'm French. <laughs> so, um, English is not my personal language, okay? It's not my mother language, but I make an effort for you. I don't speak French tonight, okay? <laughs> so, it's always complicated when, when someone tell you or ask you to make a lecture because you have to find a title and you have to, to develop an idea. So, and for me it was sort of evident to speak about who am I in fact. And when you speak about who you are, you are speaking about your heritage. And I think that is the most important point in architecture too. Because if you are if you know who you are, I think that you can know where you want to go. And I think it's really important. Because when you speak about heritage, I think that you speak about identity. And I want to speak about this tonight. By the prism of housing, because I think that housing is the main core of architecture. It's not natural. And when you speak about identity, I think that you have to to start with the idea of the city. As you are all different in the audience, I think that city are all different. I love this picture. I can explain why. <laughs> it's a famous painting, an old one, made by Bruegel. It's not so beautiful in terms of architecture, no? But it's very, how to say that? It's organic. You have a lot of details. It's not well done, but it produces an incredible form by additions of different scenes that you can make. And there was a goal for doing this. It's to speak with God, in fact, to elevate something to speak with God. What is interesting is the site and the form that it produces. It's a new idea, and it produces a new form. I think this is the idea of architecture. I think that architecture is not only a question of beauty, but it's a question of ID. And you can see the connection with the ground floor and the fact that it's a sort of tell us about life, in fact. This one is very famous. This is a Chita Ideal. You know, you know this printing. I'm sure if you are making, a, if you are students of architecture. But for me, there is a problem in this picture. No, where are people? Yeah. You you agree with me? Look at this one, and this one, because I think that this one speak only about beauty. It's well designed. It's it's, it's beautiful. Everything is here on place. This is the beginning of the symmetry. Oops. And even the trees <laughs> are designed. There is no nature, no life, nobody. This is complete opposition of this one. And finally, this one produces a unique form with an ID. And I think that this one, maybe you can imagine that it will be a generic city, even if it's beautiful. Because you have no idea of the site. You have idea of nothing, in fact. Because there is no life, there is no parameters, there is no data about who you are. And I think this is the origin of our thought about housing. I mean that housing, is 80% of the city. So I think that you have to find this idea of identity, of, of heritage, in fact, in, uh, in order to speak about housing. Because if you are not working on that way, I think you are doing this, that you can find everywhere. Even if, it, if it's a individual disease or collective disease. I meant that when you are making housing, you are in a, in a way to, to have an answer about the main topic of housing, that it means you have to find the way 
to give a solution with the main problem of the repetition. And I think that it's because most of the time people are thinking like this. Architects or politics. People are just a number. And I think that the reality is more here. Huh? It's complicated, in fact. Huh? Everybody has his own story and his own practice, in fact. So we need to work on this. But at each time I start the project, people want for to do that because it seems to be too expensive to work with this. So, I, this is a, f a famous uh, graphic. I think it's Kulas who made this when he speak uh, about muta mutations. As this is an example, it was uh, in the beginning of the 20th century when they made a universal exposition about different pavilion who express different country. Everything is different because they speak about identity. And today, it's funny because Kulas put his own project here. Because I, I need he has a part of responsibility for this. <laughs> and you know that. And it's completely, it's really difficult to find a difference in all this type of buildings, even if it's offices or housing project. So tonight, I will show you by, five, by the prism of five housing projects, four are building, and one is on a study phase, uh, a sort of state of mind about housing, but more than housing in architecture. So we are in France. I choose France because I speak about France. It's important because it's my identity. So I choose two, two cities, famous cities. One is Paris, the capital, easy. And the other one is less famous, but really important. This is Le Havre, just there. Oops, sorry. And the two cities are connected, uh, are linked by the river Seine. So th this is a ge geographical link and an heritage link because Le Havre was a very important port of France, and I think that it could be the port of Paris with the uh, new fast uh, uh, railway, uh, I want to say a TGV, yeah, high speed train. It, it's voted, so in four years, five years, I don't know, they are connected by the fast train. So I think it's important, and I made this sort of connection together tonight, and to present you three projects in Paris and two in Havre. So Paris, ah Paris. <laughs> so this is the, the idea of Paris was the idea of density and Osman. For people, they know Paris by the prism of Osman and the center core of Paris. In fact, so you have a sort of postcard image of Paris. But as always, it's always different. The reality is more complex. And you have sort of addition of all the layers of the city because Paris has this sort of amazing chains not to be destroyed by any war, fire, disease, or typhoon, or things like this. I mean that the city has this sort of additional layers who made the constitution of all the entire city. So the reality of Paris, in fact, is this. It's not so be beautiful, but in fact, it's more rich. So you have sort of memories. <laughs> you see this Osman uh, building just there with the sort of strange buildings from the 70s. But I love this, in fact. And we have to work on this uh, reality. So I, I, ch I chose to show you two projects in Paris, and one of them in the border 
of Paris, just the very close suburb. So the first one is one of the first project we won in competition by a competition in Paris, and it was very, a very social place, in fact. And if you are looking just there, just to explain, the site is completely stuck up between two big railway stations just there, and this area is a sort of rest, not rest, of sort of heritage of the 70s. It's Paris, but it's, it's a sort of wasteland of Paris. And during the 70s, they make towers, they make open modern block here. And you can see the Osman tissue just there. You have just here Notre Dame de Paris, the Louvre. <laughs> OK, and we are just there. And if you are scrolling, OK. so. The idea of the city of Paris at this moment was to eradicate the 70s and to rebuild the idea of a block. So they make a, during the, at the beginning of the 21th century, they start to destroy everything and to replace the open modern system by construction just on the border. So they arrive at this stage. But the fact is that not because you are doing a block, that you are doing a quality, in fact. I think that you have to, to start by the idea of a public space. So when, you, when we arrive at the competition in 2008, we found this. So they eradicate the modern approach of things, but they rebuild things without quality. It's its 100% uh, social housing just around. You know that? You have that. that. So we have to, the brief of the competition, we have only one uh, page, just like this, and in a way, do what you want. <laughs> we are completely lost. So do what you want. There was a project for uh, Interior Park there, made by a landscape architect who start to work in the 80s, but is completely uh, tired. He was completely tired. So we decide to start the competition with this idea of Strada because we, we went to Barcelona so many years before, and we have this sort of memory of the idea of a block, but more than a block, inside the block. And the fact that you have a collection of different practice and public practice everywhere, it was not a repetition. Everything is different. And I remember one in particular. It was a water tower. And the water tower, all the ground of the water tower was sort of public space linked by the idea of the water tower and the idea of water. They make a swimming pool, everything. And finally, you have a sort of global resolution of the inside core of the block. And this was the beginning of our re reflection on this project. And that's why we start, the first starting point of the project was to work on the public space. It was not in the brief. The idea that the project of housings are not just an addition with other housing inside the, the site, but to start by the ground floor, to connect everybody for the others, not only for the future inhabitants of this place, but for the others who are living just around. And we have, have a sort of heritage, but cultural heritage, this idea of project. This is an interesting drawing made in the 80s. It was in the in an uh, English review. It was a dream of a people who are living in a collective housing. And you want a home with a garden. It's very simple. And this one is very famous. It's a theorem of uh, 
900, I would say, 1909, it's complicated, huh, the numbers. No, yeah, I don't know. But you know that is the beginning of the industry and the skyscrapers. So you can see an elevator, the first Otis elevator, just there. And it's a stacking system. And you can duplicate ground with private housing. I love this drawing. So I think it's a good, good starting point to, to work on, uh, on housing problems. I mean that when you want to make an apartment, you have to find the idea of home and ground. You know that. This is in the 80s. It's a group, the site group. And they propose the high rise of homes. So we start with this. Because some uh, schematic approach of things. And to mix the idea of a house and a block and to liberate all the, the facade and the terrace. It was very simple. But it was a structural principle, very simple. You have a technical core, and after that, you are free to uh, develop the apartment inside. But the idea is not the idea of flexibility. It's really important because a lot of people, a lot of architects speak about flexibility. I think here we are. The goal of the project was to make the best housing project possible. We are not uh, thinking about what it could be in 100 years. It could be offices or something like that, because it's complicated to know what happened in 200 years. So it's not a question of, of flexibility. I think it's important. The goal here is to make the best project. I, I think that more specific you are, the more architects you are. Because if you are thinking about the future of what happened, I think you are in the sort of reduction of things, because you are thinking of, of things that you know today. What happened in 200 years, it's complicated. For example, just uh, if you are looking at the old cities in Europe, you can have a church, and there are no, nobody in the church today, and it becomes offices, because people decide to change the program and to make with the church an amazing project of offices. But if people who are making the church are thinking that in the future it could be an offices, I'm sure that the church will never be like this. And by making an office in the church, in fact, you invent a new type, a new typology of offices building. I think it's really important. This is a difference between flexibility and mutability. So be specific. <laughs> so we did uh, this kind of projects were connected with the ground floor, and this is the reality. Just after the construction, before all the garden grew up. So it was interesting. Interesting because when we won the competition, we have the we made the brief for the landscape architects who are in charge of the, and it was complicated with them at the beginning. But at the end, I think you can understand that the project is the beginning of the project is the process of all the site. And not only the two buildings. And you can look at the connection with the ground floor. It's only 62 apartments in two different buildings. And it's 100% uh, of social housing inside. You have a collective place here just for sort of sharing experience between the young people here and the oldest in the, on the site. And they can uh, help the youngest to make their works and everything like this, that's cool. And it's a huge playground, in fact, everywhere. And you have no limit between the public space and the entrance of the project. It's completely connected. So I show you different uh, photos. And we use material. I think the design is really important. And you have to, if you want to, to give respect on people, to, to, to work on materiality and on design and with quality of material. 
So it was the beginning, just, just after the construction. There's nobody, you tell me. And you can, uh, this is the same client who made all of this. And I think this is really the image you can have about social housing. It costs the same price. So, each apartment has 25 or 30 square meter. And it's a sort of freedom space, in fact. I mean that architecture is the way to propose, especially in housing projects, is the way to propose the possibility for life to flourish. I mean that architecture has to be strong enough to support life of people. It's really important. And to propose this possibility. So, yeah. When life is coming, you can see beautiful scene everywhere. People are coming and progressively customized place by addition of things everywhere. Life is coming. I love this idea. It means that people are happy in the place. Life is flourishing everywhere. And you have this sort of evident connection between everything. And uh, sometimes they made a fiesta <laughs> in the garden and they organized diner here. And you have this finally a new form with this idea of public space and we produce a New, we don't have a pre, pre minded idea of the project, of housing project. And at the end, finally, it finishes at, at a museum, like a sort of example of new possibility for social housing. So it's funny. And I love the idea that uh, James Wine told us, so say us. Good game, guys, because it's exactly the same idea with our tools than this. I mean that you have a sort of, not a grid, but a system who permits the appropriation for people to live in there. So the second one is just on the opposite bank. You know, Paris, there is a right bank and the left bank, so we were there. It just on the opposite side, on the left bank. So, it was a brief as a project, so you have to, it was a new idea for the city. I mean, it was the first, not high rise, but for Paris it was important. The first high rise building constructed in Paris, but when we spoke about high rise here, it's 50 meter height. So, it's not so high, but finally it's, it was a really important problematic at this moment in Paris because it was the first time that Paris redeveloped the idea of high rise inside Paris. So just before we were there and now we are here and we are part, we are the ending project, not the ending project, but one of the ending project of this huge uh, new area in Paris with the Grand Bibliothèque by Dominique Perrault, just there. And you have a thought since 25 years, they developed new, new offices, housing, districts, everywhere in this site. And they start here 25 years ago. Now we are here. And they start to build this place. So they cover all the, infrastructure, all the infrastructure, the railway infrastructure here, to have the possibility to build this one. So, and we are just at the connection between Paris and what they call the Grand Paris. I mean, you have the, you have the peripheric just there. You are in Paris and here, 
you are in Ivry, Vitry, you are in the suburbs of Paris, of Paris. And you are part of the large and grand, grand Paris. So it's like a sort of symbol. It's really important. And this was the, the form of the brief to make the project. And the project was this sort of specificity that the program was half private, half social. I mean that there is almost 200 apartments and 100 are social, 100 are private. So very quickly we decide to, to make sort of strange animal with two heads. And we sculpt the volume with light, with view, and progressively we create this sort of enigmatic project. We create different uh, typologies like this. This part of project is connect with all the different projects were there before, and the other part is connecting with the idea of new territories. So you create new forms and a new urban situation. This is the, the image we made for the competition. This part is a private part, and this one is a social part. It was a decision we made. Because I think that we have to assume the symbol of the, of the place and to tell about the idea of social place. So this is the images, the image, and this is the construction. I think it's really important to keep the goal. <laughs> <laughs> during study phase and every everything. So I, I can pass very quickly because I can make a lecture only on this building because it is very special for its prog pro program for everything and in its organization because I, I, I speak about public place and in fact I never show you public place inside the building because in France it's really complicated. We are a strange kind of people, we are. And uh, we are, I think we are more Latin than Nordic. So if you are doing a public place inside a building, with the fact that uh, you have a sort of typography, say public place, you can be sure that people don't want to go inside. They want to go in another place. Because I think, yes, it's like the idea of appropriation of place. I think that architecture has to permit uh, practice, but not to oblige the practice. And so, the, when we, because it was two different uh, types of inhabitants, between the private and the public. The most important thing was not to disconnect people in the ground floor. Because the first idea of the client, after we won the competition, was to separate here. You have the private world, and you have the social world. And we say no. We are one world. <laughs> Even if you are social or private, you are human, okay? So you have the same code here to go inside. You have the same code here to go inside. Even if you go from the tramway or if you go from the metro, you can go there. If you are a social guy, you go there, you entrance here. And if you are a private guy, you arrive by this, you arrive this. After that, you are here. You have a special code to go in the hall. And finally, it was really important because it's, it seems to be simple, but the fact is that it's not very difficult to say that and to say, okay, it's just normal. In fact, it's the prolongation of the public space, the ground floor, 
We don't need a separation. But here, okay, it's private. Yeah. But the fact is that the disease is inside the project, and the client ne never imagined that our success for us was the children, because they don't care if you are private or social. Children just want to play together. And when they became friends, parents became friends, and they invited, and it's finished. You don't need a public place inside. You have the solution, you have the ground floor. It's more simple. And at the end, it's not possible to make the difference. And they organize a fiesta with everybody. Because you have the uh, enough space to do that. And after that, you can, voila, you have private housing access, this one. You have the socializing access, just there. And in all the projects, we are working with a, a code, the gold and the silver, everywhere, with the same details, same things. <laughs> and finally, it's a sort of, yeah works together. You can't separate one or the other. But you, are cl you have clearly the clients who are very happy. You are clearly social here and private here. Inside. <laughs> and we can offer with a new form, with this, with this new form, in fact, it was the form produce the typology. Because the complexity of the form produces a complexity of typology. And since the moment we won the competition with this form, we knew that we can produce a lot of diversity inside. And the client is sort of prisoner by the form of the project. And even if you have a catalog of apartments, in fact, you have no choice. So I mean that when you are making architecture, you have to think about this not to be in a sort of uh, global approach of apartment catalog, because often this is reality of the housing process. And in time, you can have a lot of different type of apartment everywhere. This is a duplex. This is social, for example. They, uh, they pay 10 euro per, per square meter. Yeah. So, and on the other part, they pay uh, 12,000 euro per square meter. Not, by, not a month, huh? but uh, yeah. But they live together, and it's not problematic. For example, this is a private place, a private apartment. And this is private part. This is social part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a sort of local here to separate things. But yeah, that's, and you can find the same details everywhere between the gold and the silver, between a panel. And how, how you say that? This filet? How you say filet? Filet. Uh, mesh, yeah, mesh. Okay, and several pictures everywhere. And life is coming. <laughs> and you have appropriation of things. People are... And you have different... And what, what is really extraordinary, I, I think that each project is a sort of um, pedagogical, pedagogical project because in the private part, you have a sort of dress code, no? Everything is similar. You are part of a society, I don't know. You don't want to be different from the other. You have a dress code. And in the social part, you have no problem to, to say, hey, I'm here. I am what I am. And you have a sort of incredible uh, imagination.
so you have baby food. <laughs> and something very special, but in fact, it's an evidence, no? You have a protection everywhere, and you play basketball on your terrace. It's normal. That's why kids are coming to the social. Yeah, that's why they want to play basketball in the building. But it was not a predetermined, pre, was, yeah, predetermined um, practice, in fact. It's just the reality of uh, humanity. If you have the possibility to do that, you, you, you do that. This is a role of architecture. I look at this. How is private or Ah, the private are just on the... Uh, ah, I look at this. They have deck table, you know, seems to be in a magazine. You know, just like this, with small pots everywhere. It's not so much original, no? And you have amazing view, and you can, and what I mean is that this um, intermediate height, height of uh, 50 meters is really interesting because <coughs> this is a sort of really pedagogical view you can have because you understood the city where you're living in. You understood the complexity, the richness of the tissue because you are not disconnected. You are not like in a skyscraper, in fact. This is the mayor of Paris. She was very happy. <laughs> but I prefer this one. It was in the street just after. And this is a famous uh, shoes designer. And it was publicity. And she takes the social part. So you did the job. I love that. So it changed the context. And we are going just on a very close suburb of Paris. And this is the issue of the big scale. And uh, another context. We are in Paris, but it's different. And this is the idea of uh, the trauma of the Grand Ensemble. And the fact that today it's very complicated to have a sort of global response when you are working on this on this type of uh, scale. And finally, in the brief of the competition, just there. OK, you have all this area. It's a huge area. It's like a little, uh, yeah, a part of the city, finally. You have a part of this. And when they select the teams, they ask teams to but a sort of diversity in the team in terms of architects. So they have the idea that it's not possible to have a global response with only one image. And we decide to go alone. Because from the beginning, we, we have the idea that the location of the site is a metropolitan location. I mean, you have to assume the fact that in this place, you have to, to give a very strong image of this place and not something completely uh, separated with a sort of diversity of architecture. It was not a collection of architecture, but the idea that you, you, you have to propose something very, uh, in certain kind of unity. But in this unity, the most important thing was to propose specificity and multiplicity and diversity of typology and forms, not, not diversity of buildings. We don't care. So we made this. And we made these sort of strange forms to permit the link. Because the south is here, so you have the south, the light here, and you have a marvelous view, but on the north. It's very rare that you have both view and, uh, and south of the same, uh, on the same part. 
So we made all this sort of movement to permit a maximum of view and maximum of light in all the place. This sort of diagram would take you a lot of time to just to shape the buildings. Produce this sort of strange plan. But the more important thing was with this idea of scale, it was not only for inhabitants who are living in the project, but for the others. The fact that this is a new street will cross all the project and you have two parts, but this is a public space and the irrigation and the connection of all the access inside the buildings, like an organic system, we are just connected with the street. I mean that there's sort of networking of all on the ground floor. And you have this really important scale for people who are living, but for people who are just crossing the street to go from one part of the city to another one. This is a pedestrian volume. And I think this is really important. This is the beginning of everything. The beginning of respect from everybody. And we have all this perspective <coughs> everywhere. The reflection, the glasses system. And the idea that the nature is like a sort of organic nature is not well designed. This is half social and half private too. This is social, for example. Just before it was a private part. And so it produced sort of a relationship and dilatation, horizontal dilatation of the street inside the project, everywhere. And after that, above, you have this kind of architecture. Only making, sometimes you have the impression that it's only one building, but it's seven different buildings, were part. And the white color <laughs> was the idea to reinforce this uh, unity. And as you can see when life is coming, the white is like a frame, in fact. And for example, you have different kind of panel, of metal panel here. And this one, for example, was not in the project. This is a private intervention of uh, inhabitants. And they made it in white. So it's a new pattern, but it works. So uh, step by step, time after time, you have a lot of things everywhere. This is a new pattern. Look at this. Because the real one was this one. And this is new. This is the private part and social part. Same process. With balcony everywhere. Different form. And inside, it looks like if you are in an hotel. In fact. Everywhere. Sometimes you are hidden, or you can be you, and you have the view in the scene. And for sure, if you are on the top, you are just amazing view, because this is La Défense. This is Le Grand Paris. So, OK, take a trip <laughs> to the Seine River and to go to Le Havre. The context, seaport, city. I'll go back to the history with the last with the ending project. Two projects. One is on the industrial port, and the other one in the central city, just there. And this part is classified at UNESCO. Yeah. It's a world heritage classified place. 
but we start with this one. So another context, but you have the idea of memory, of the trace of industrial sites. And with, okay, you are here. Okay, and the center of life is here. You have the railroad station, and you have all the different basins. We are making the city, and this is the industrial port with a lot of containers, activity just there. Ships, big ships were coming there. So the landscape is amazing, in fact. You have old rehabilitation there. You have sea view. You have amazing traces of industrial place. This is a Jean Nouvel uh, swimming pool, famous place. You have to go to it. It's like town, you know, it's beautiful. And you have all this very beautiful place and all, I would say, uh, st st storage? Yes, yeah, storage building in front of the sea. So it was a site, in fact. We have to make uh, offices and uh, private apartment and social apartment, but it's a small project, but a very important project for us because it was in an historical site, industrial historical site. This was a, this is a site just there. South orientation and view to the sea, so top, perfect. So the first idea, it was a sort of evidence. This is a site. It's beautiful. This is a confrontation between the industrial landscape and the trace of industrial site. So for us, it was an evidence to have a sort of relationship between the south and the view and to build in front of this and to propose sea view typology. But the fact is that sometimes you have to deal with some strange animals called urban planners. And especially fucking Parisian urban planners were coming in there and to do the same thing everywhere. For example, this is a new area. You have the sea just there. And they propose building forms that you can find everywhere. Look at this. It's completely crazy. You have the sea just there. Sort of, because it's sort of obsession uh, with the, the east-west orientation, you know? But why? In fact, when you have this sort of situation, you just have to, to be in front of the beauty of the landscape. So it was a very um, fighting project. We were young at this moment. <coughs> and it was a chance that the client trusted in us. So at, at the end, we won. <laughs> because the idea was just to duplicate the idea of storage building to be in front of the garden of the public garden just there and in front of the basin. And just to make a sort of very evident typology of the living rooms with view on the sea and private access on the north with a flat system here and just above a duplex system. So you have rehabilitation part here it's an office place. This is private apartment, and this is social apartment. But in the same shaping line system, very simple. And we use the language of industrial memory of the site by working with the idea of Prefab concrete for the buildings and metal industrial uh, frame for the facade. And at the end, 
we have these images. And the separation was made with cell system, you know? So we work with design and graphic approach of things, but with very, very simple things and the very precise but simple details for every, everybody. Why? Pass quickly. Typology. You have the main access here, for, the, for example. I mean, you have a private access, like in home. Living rooms, private terrace on the south and on the view. For the parents, for the children, it's very simple kitchen. And just above you have a duplex system, private access, kitchen, and you have living room, terrace. This is the back and the, the north orientation when you have the private access. Yeah. Cell system, just to make the separation. And it's, it's funny because people, uh, <laughs> it's like industrial style, no? <coughs> and you just have to look on the side. This is, for example, Social part here. Yeah. So I will finish by this one. So I, I chose to show you four building projects because I think it's important not to show you any images. And this one is a winning competition. We won this competition three years ago. It was an international competition with uh, Arthur Gedemeron, Rudy Ricciotti, and we won this, but it took time because the site, and we finish by this, I mean that when you are making housing, you can sometimes have the opportunity to speak about new monument because of the site. The location is just in the protect area center of Le Havre, and it was a competition made by the city of Le Havre to propose a high rise, not a high rise, but same idea, a 50 height building, but in the center of the grid of Perret, and it's classified at UNESCO. So I mean that the, card postal, the postal card of the project is this. So when you are an architect, Sometimes it's complicated because the, the problematic is not the heritage of the old century before, but the modernity. The city is, uh, the, was remade by Perret, and you have the Nimea project just there. But more than this, just before, I, I told you just before, Le Havre was made by uh, the king François Ier, you know that? It was in the 16th century. And the idea was to build this city only to, to trade with America. It was a port to the new ter open to the new territories and to trade with uh, America. So the idea of uh, modernity or the idea of, how to say that, um, knowledge and uh, adventure is in the DNA of the city. This is our original plan. And it was a very rich city. You have this one. And the location of our project is just there. And during the World War II, the center was completely destroyed by uh, the Allies, in fact, by the English. So the reality of the city was this completely destroyed and they asked Perret to propose a master plan to rebuild the center. And oops, okay, before and today. 
so when you arrive on this site, you have this sort of important memory. This is the site we are working on just there. And the specificity of Perret, it's, a, it's not a modern, in fact, Perret. It's more a classical architect. Because you can find ornament and you can find design, but it's a long process and you, you have an idea of what is a city with a sort of unity, but a very precise detail everywhere. And the different type of column like this, you can find in the ground, like this. Sort of unity, you have the idea, you have the feeling of the city when you are working inside the Perret system. So this is the site. And the Perret system was made on two grids, very main grid, the yellow one and the blue one. The yellow is the north, south, east, west grid. And the blue one is the parallel of the depth of the port. And we are the connection of the two grids, of the two systems. Just there. We are here. So you have to deal with these two guys. Well, he seems not very sympathetic. <laughs> And uh, so August, <laughs> yeah, classical, but really important. And the form with Oscar. So you have to deal with these two guys, with the greed, with the idea of the planification, very organized, and the idea of the freedom of the form. So. It's like in music, in fact, huh? you know, when you are playing an instrument and you are going to stage with uh, two different guys. I don't know. You choose who you want. Miles Davis, <laughs> right side, and the other one could be uh, David Bowie. And you have to play together with us. So you, you have the possibility to go with David or to go with Miles, or maybe just to find your way and to play with them. So, <laughs> starting point was very easy, in fact, no, for the beginning. It was just the meeting between Oscar and Auguste. And the deformation of the grid system with the, the volumetric approach. And after that, we well, it's a reduction because it's just schematic things. There were some different parameters were well, in the brief of the competition like to, to keep this visual opening. And after that, we, we, we find a sort of scale made by Perret, the four level floor buildings just around, shaping this part with a different context. The fact that it, you have nothing here, so you can, you have to be not so high here, but you can be high on this part. And after this, you have a formal approach and a sort of twisted system on this place, um, different parameters. And this is a working view. And the process was very long because we won the competition and after this we work with the city. And at this moment, uh, the mayor of the city was our prime ministry today. So we are in the office and we work with him. And the different, it, it's only interesting to work with the politics who have a certain point of view of architecture. It's very rare, in fact. And we discuss a lot of the finishing system of the project of the twisting, of the spiral. So all, all this document was made during the studies with the city uh, staff. And the program is you have a kindergarten just on, uh, 
on the ground floor, you have main entrance for the housing, car park. This is the kindergarten access. And you say sort of tribute to the Perret design that you can find. All is in concrete because this is uh, the city's history of pre-concrete system and modernity. The idea of the height in the skyline of the city. Because we have a lot of meetings with historian, historian with the protection of sites, with UNESCO, with everything. And finally, we, we are waiting for the permit. This is the permit? Yeah, in December. So we pass all the different steps and different presentation we have to, to do to, to argue on the project. This is the view. And you can see the link between the shape here and the movement. Another important thing you can find uh, something that we are the client because it's a private operation. Uh, we have to to be in the history of the context, and I mean that when Perret was making his, the reconstruction, he had a certain idea of housings and of new typology of housings. It was a new way of life in the modernity. So we, we, we have to propose something um, to, to go in this story, to be linked to this history of uh, housing. And it's really special for a private uh, client. Uh, we decide just to offer uh, this. And we can work with the different owners to make them apartment with us. So we put all the window system in order to permit different kind of solution, even if we are three apartments, two. Only one, why not? And we have the possibility to make duplex and everything. So it, it's really complicated for a private client to be engaged in this sort of process. But we have to do that. So I think that at the end, we will working with all the different owners and inhabitants to make the plan inside the project. So I show you this, this. At the end, final image. And just to finish, the fact that finally when you by the prison of housing, I think that you can embrace all the main topics of architecture. And most that everything, I think that each project is different. Each project is an opportunity for you, sees opportunity to do something different. Because I think that all the contexts are different, even if you are in Paris or Le Havre, everything is different. The context, the social context is different. The cities are different, and I think that it's the role of architects to have the, to be in this way and not to produce a sort of repetitive or neutral approach of things that I think is a big disease for the future. I mean that we have to defend the specificity of, si of site, specificity of people, and the very specificity of architecture. Thank you.